Welcome back, family! <laughs> game of life. Welcome to the game of life for my new people that's out there. I'm your host, the real OG. To my future OGs and my OG mamas and to my loving people that's out there. To my everyday, ordinary citizens just trying to get through life. Welcome home. You're here at the game of life. Um, we try to be family around here and keep it real with one another. The um, talk show uh, here is about community, health, wealth, and happiness. That's our mantra, health, wealth, and happiness. Uh, we do community topics here. Um, if you're out there on YouTube, check us out at Sundial Networks. That's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. I need y'all to be hitting them likes and leaving some comments out there in the social sphere um, to my network people that's just now getting it first here on sundial please go you know review the old shows on youtube we're under sundial networks you can see us on facebook at the real og or you can see us at the game of life um i guess the topic today is a interesting one it's gonna kind of go off of uh what we had going on with um the role of government and it's why business you know what i'm saying and this is going to go more more to the black community um because uh if i brought up some real charts and numbers on my other people out there um y'all numbers are good you know the asian community the hispanic community um it's the black community's numbers that's down. As you can see, I'm a black man, so I'm, I'm, I'm very concerned. You know what I'm saying? And we want to be able to keep us moving uh, as a human beings. We should want um, all of our communities to be one big thing here. But as I've said before about uh, we're here on planet Earth and there's only one um, race, and that's the human race. But... We're here on planet Earth, and we didn't start playing games. <laughs> and if you're here on planet Earth, uh, life's been a game for a long, long time, probably from the beginning of time, um, from the caveman days to Adam and Eve, you know, um, however you look at it, you know. But um, how we're going to get into on why business and... Um, I just wanted to get in that because from the beginning, I've always talked about, you know, go out, support your black businesses all across the sphere. We're talking about, you know, go support black business, go support black businesses. Um, and I don't think enough media really got into the nitty gritty and I'm not going to even be able to get into the real deal. But just want to touch on some other points that may not have came up or even came to your mind on that um black businesses in general you know what i'm saying but we want to be here supporting you to go out and encourage our young people to be entrepreneurs uh that's any given race black white or green you know what i'm saying to, uh, that's what we need um and you say why business well business is the start of basic economics and the principles behind um economic especially here in the United States but any place you have um human beings interacting um I think even probably back in the caveman time they probably was what well, they was trading they wasn't really doing it with money but it was trade you know apples for oranges or oranges and apples for you know um a lion that they caught or a bear that they <laughs> traded and that's how they did it now we made it a, a real economy and have a, a a basis for money you know what i mean for our trade and, and that's a whole nother long super long story that we we go into there but uh society does not exist without um some form of economic and businesses are the starting point and makeup of an economic system 
<laughs> I want to make sure I get this right. So y'all please bear with me, you know, because um, a lot of us won't get it in, in the businesses and stuff like that. And I'm going to say some things and show you some things that's going to may even loop you up even more. Hopefully not. Hopefully we are all able to keep up uh, what, what we got going on here. Um, but as of 2019, black business um, entrepreneurship is at 0 0.24 or 240 out of every 100,000 people that we have. Now, um, I'm going to pull up some slides here and... Um, because because we're gonna get into some of that in this a lot of then we'll, let me just pull up the slide. Uh, <laughs> now the first one we're gonna have is a, a question. You know how many black owned businesses are there in the United States of America? Two thousand twenty one. There are more than two million black owned businesses in the United States. According to the most recent available census data, there are more than 2 million black owned businesses in America. 2 million. Um, then we're going to go down. And how many black business owners are in the U.S.? See that? Owners and businesses. Blacks or African American own approximately 124,551 businesses with about 28%, 35,547 of those businesses in healthcare and social assistance sector, the highest percentage of any minority group, and that was as of January 28th, 2000. Um, 21. Now, I wanted to bring that up to, to, to show the differences of the two million good on that we just had on there. And then you say, well, dang, it was only 124,000 <laughs> uh, of the actual business owners. Well, that contradiction. And it's not a really a contradiction. We have more than two two million black businesses, but um, labeling you a black uh, well a business period is a uh, can be you know just you self employed ten ninety nine. That's the Uber, the Lyfts, the you know like I said the self employed ten ninety nine. That means you're not paying a payroll. Now that one hundred thousand twenty four. 551 is the actual payrolls that they consider as a firm. So, 100,022 million, big, huge gap in actual, you know, brick and mortar type of businesses or a payroll system as an actual structure of um, a business where you're paying insurance, payroll, paying yourself, and, and, and various. And that's what we need more of. Now, um, Detroit was number one as far as business firms. That mean payroll businesses. They were number one. Um, Memphis was number two. Um, and the state of Georgia had a total of 256,848, which made up 10% of the total, you know, well, actually a little more than that, of the actual, the 10% that I'm saying of the 2 million, because it's actually 2 million plus. I know on there they said 2 million, but I looked up the other part, it said um, 2 million 600,000 was the given total <laughs> um, as of 2021, this year. And uh, yeah, Georgia made up about 10 percent. That's the state of Georgia, not the city of Atlanta, which Atlanta was in like the fourth largest city and making up the majority of that um, 256,848. Um, the city of New York actually as a city made up the, the largest number of black 
own businesses <laughs> was 250,890 um which 9.7 roughly close to 10% just there in that one city of of New York um the state of Florida was the second largest state with 251,000 216, which is roughly made up, you know, 9, 10%. Um, the city of Chicago, city of Chicago was uh, one of the, well, yeah, it was the largest city with business owners <laughs> at 110,155, which made up about 45 4.3% of uh the total black businesses out there now i wanted to just um make that difference you know of that two million to one hundred twenty four thousand. and when we get into the numbers if you're going and doing you know research and other stuff like that it's going to be various numbers and a lot of them going to get make sure you check up the years because they go back to 2012 to 1997 1997 is when we had actually more black business firms and we were actually you know doing this a little bit you know um as far as businesses black businesses paying payrolls and a lot of us may have uh seen a lot of black car dealerships and that's when they had the boom when we had the care hair care um feel before you know the, the flop and going back even further into the 80s to that 90 when 2000 is kind of like we took a super dip from where we was <laughs> now that's why we got to be pushing this um entrepreneurship like big time because when you saying of our black businesses we talking with the uh, the ubers the lifts the the self-employed 1099 it just mean you just you just your own business and you the only employee um that's i want to be i don't want to be too hard you know what i'm saying because i want to encourage us out here you know but a lot of these so-called businesses are doing under you know twenty thirty thousand dollars and if you that 1099 is doing that you know what i'm saying i commend you for jumping out there but we got to step our game up you know what i'm saying don't get me wrong it's not your fault, mostly. <laughs> we got to get a little more effort and a little more uh, getting behind doing our research. At the same time, we got to be pushing. That's why I was pushing this as far as saying that we need the business and the politics because the politics go along with this. Because the number one failure of business is a lack of capital and um, economics, which is money just you, you short of money you know what i'm saying so you short on resources would be the second part because you don't have the things that you need which you need money to get that going you know what i'm saying but you have to have the the mindset to go watch a business see what all is entail with that because too many of us out here are starting businesses and don't understand the business you know what i'm saying now, i'm not trying to fear anybody out of starting a business but um, out here, our black women are entrepreneurial set. Of all of everybody here in America, black women outpace everybody hands down on starting a business. Now, they beat everybody hands down too as failure of their businesses that's going out of business so you probably know a lot of black women that's then started business and had a little cookie stand or then had a beauty salon or all kind of normal stuff our black women out here they're very um, creative they're not scared to jump out there you know what i'm saying for the most part um but please don't take that as a failure my black queens out there you know get yourself up take it from 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 the og uh, you can take me as big brother, little brother, dad, whoever you want to, you know what I'm saying? They're saying, hey, you're going to have a few bumps. As I say, you got to toughen up. Mama ain't going to be there to, you know, baby you all the time. Daddy ain't going to be there to shield you. I want, I want you to toughen that spirit up. Don't, you know, lose that emotion that you got going. 
because we need you. You have the spirit to do this. You know what I mean? Now we have to get resources and we have to, you know, do background before we get started. Now don't let that be stagnant. Go to that business and work for that business that you're trying to get into so you understand it more. You know what I'm saying? And then you have a good clear picture of um the economics that you're gonna need and you can go secure that. And right now, 2021, we have a lot of programs out here that's at least trying to assist us in some fashion or form, you know what I'm saying? Now you have to be very um, careful because there's a lot of banks that saying that they're gonna help this, this, and this. And I've seen the the rates that they're charging um, out there and it's, it's astronomical. So basically you're working for them. You know what I'm saying? You Yeah, you got the 1099, you got your business started, but every dime and penny that you actually making is going to pay the interest off to them. So, I mean, at least go in with your eyes open and understand what your um, profit ratio is going to be. Now, if you get into one of those fields that you know, okay, my profit ratio is going to be higher, then you have no problem because you're like, okay, I can get this knocked out next two, three years and be selling. You know what I'm saying? Because we have to know that it takes, um, takes some self-ownership and Knowing that, okay, it's you. This is going to be on you to make this thing work. You know what I mean? So you all have to own up out there. You know what I'm saying? I want you to be tough and um, and be tough on yourself. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, I don't want you to hinder yourself and never start. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm talking to you, you, and you. You know what I'm saying? Be confident. You know what I'm saying? I believe in you because I know you're a human being, so I know you can take this in. Now, you all that's trying to start the entrepreneurship, you probably need to watch this particular tape in four or five times just to get them little nuances of what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You need to get that rooted into your soul so you understand um, going back and, 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 and getting the stats, knowing what it is, knowing that, um, yeah, failure can happen. Um but making sure that you properly got your economics, you know, that's the money to bag it up so you can be seated for at least six months. You know what I'm saying? Um, that you understand the business and where the income is going to come and how you're going to wind up having to spend the money as you go into the business. Now, of the 30.5 million businesses that we have, in the United States of America, 12.5 million are white male owned businesses. They make up 41% of the businesses out there. And I said 30, you know, 0.5 million of the businesses. And we got 2 million of the businesses, as I said. Um, and like I said, we only have a hundred thousand to 24 to actually have a payroll. So that's, that's the real businesses. Because you trust and believe out of that 12 million point five of those white male businesses, they don't have the percentage of the Uber drivers and Lyft drivers and the 1099s that we do because they have proper funding and they've been having proper funding. So that's why I was saying about the politics. So we get the politics down. It's going to go hand in hand with the business to make sure that we're getting the funding and the other things that we need. Um, I'm just giving y'all the numbers here so you know what you're working with and what's out there and, and what needs to happen. Um, of that 30.5 million um, businesses, um, you have the, the white female making approximately 6.5 million of those businesses and um, making 65% of the women-owned um, based businesses, which... Uh, the women make up 11.6 million of the businesses out here of the 30 million. So, I mean, women are growing and, and doing, you know, rapid and, and great numbers here. But the success rate is more with the white women um, having, you know, making up the bulk of the money <laughs> and making up the bulk of the businesses. But once again, the black women, they were really first off, I mean, it was a lot more black women that actually had businesses back in the 1800s, even before even a lot of the white women even got going into businesses. So we know 
of uh, those successes from our, our great grandmothers and them, you know, having different services and businesses. So it comes natural, but you have to do the other part of it. Make sure you got those economics. And that's why I just want to be giving out these numbers here. Um, yeah. Now, black businesses make up of that two million would be seven percent. But that number is super much lower when I tell you those firm numbers. You know what I'm saying? And it's more like we're making up like two percent of the businesses. That's why I'm saying here, hitting it home, trying to get this driven into our community. We got to be thinking businesses and politics right now. Um, it's a must, you know. Um, the white America holds 90% of uh, America's wealth. Um, black America holds 2.6. Um, I mean, these are just the numbers, and that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? So we have to get it here to get us, you know, moving, you know what I mean? Um, of our population, 50%. Is in the bottom <laughs> half of you know our wealth earners, you know what I'm saying, and it doesn't take much to to start some simple basic businesses out here, like um, starting a lawn care service or um, janitorial services. It's various businesses that we can get into and 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 get to take off and get the field and actually be making some money and employing one another because. Um, with business and why we want to have businesses is because um, it supports the community. It helps build up the community. Um, and those dollars stay where they are. Now, they'll if you have, uh, when y'all, I want you all to go out there and, and, and look and do your research. Now, I want y'all to be having your paper and pen and going out there just writing this down. You know, what I'm saying why black businesses and the stuff that I'm saying here. And these various, because I mean, the majority of our businesses are in a small part of the country. Now, when I named off those few places, I said the state of Georgia, the city of New York, um, the state of Florida, Chicago, Detroit, Memphis. That right there, I just named five places, you know what I'm saying? And that's making up almost 50 percent of our businesses. You know what I'm saying? Now, we got, you know, 50 plus states in the United States, you know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong, black America is not in all 50 states, you know what I'm saying, as far as a, a real population. But those states that we are in, we need to be definitely controlling those cities that we doing economics from. Because if you aren't owning a business, or not playing in the entrepreneurial role, that means you're not, you know, in the actual economy, you're just being a giver. You're not, you know, you're not receiving on that other end. And definitely if we're not within those businesses where we're able to get a high salary because we have, we'll take somebody like uh, the CEO of Lowe's, which is a black, black man. He's the CEO of Lowe's and he's a black um, American. And he's, you know, controlling. And that's fine. He works for Lowe's, but you trust and believe he getting a handsome salary. You know what I mean? And that's what we want to be. We want to be into that part of it at, at minimum. You know what I'm saying? Being executives and being able to make the moves within these businesses. But it's even better if we have our black firms just doing the numbers that they should be doing. Now, what I hate here in America is... um. Like I say, those numbers get skewed. When you see the two million, and then you see the real hard firm of one hundred twenty-four thousand. Well, those same numbers, you know, look um, totally different when we add into a lot of other variables. You know what I mean? So we want to make sure um, we looking at it in a proper perspective, because. <laughs> We got a lot, lot, lot of, uh, a lot of ground to cover, you know. There, so let's be getting our, our, our mind space into business, understanding why we need business because we got to be able to control our community which we in. We got to be able to provide, you know, jobs, you know, what I'm saying for our people, and um, then that can help, you know, pay into being able to do the politics that we need to do. 
otherwise you got somebody else saying what you need and and, and dictating you know how your story is gonna be you know what I mean so we got a lot of a uh, lot of ground to cover um it's funny I mean don't seem like I've been talking that long and I got a thousand other things I, I want to come back and I probably have to do another show it won't be this one I I, I know definitely I'm gonna have to come back and visit this in this little series that I'm trying to get going here right now, touching on a few major topics, and that's uh, the politics, the business, um, the role of the business in the community, the role of of government, which we did a two-part series on, and just tying everything together so um, we have a, a, a cohesive, cohesive spirit going <laughs> into uh, to why, you know what I'm saying? And this is the business is definitely one on one of capitalism. And um, to have real capitalism, you have to have a constant underclass. And uh, right now, the black community has been a permanent underclass for 150 plus hundred years. If it's 50,000 years, 150 plus years. Um, so we got to come up out of that. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm getting to. My one minute warning telling me to wrap it up. You know, it flies by. I want to say a few things. Make sure y'all checking out sundial.tv out there in the, the spear. Y'all make sure y'all supporting some black businesses out there. Y'all make sure y'all being healthy. Y'all drinking y'all water, getting that exercise in. Um, There's no reason to, you know what I'm saying? Unless you're just lazy, you know what I'm saying? And you know more, take a couple extra laps, you know what I'm saying? If you're at home and it's summertime, you know, take one or two, you know, walks around the block. You know, if you're just starting out, take one block the first week, take two the second week and keep adding like that. It's just simple things, you know what I'm saying? It's going to make your whole life much better, you know what I'm saying? Um, to my haters, <laughs> y'all know what it is. Y'all make sure y'all show y'all haters some love because, you know, your hater, they just want to be you, you know what I'm saying? They looking at you, and if you're doing what I'm telling you to do, you're walking around that block, getting yourself together, you're drinking that water, you're looking good, you know what I'm saying? So you just give them that one, hey, how you doing, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know I give them another one. They told me, nope, I, I can't do it. I know I see a few comments down this end, you know, let him do it one time. And I talk with them and say, hey, let me just do it one time, y'all. They said, no, nah, don't do it, you know what I'm saying? I said, all right, we're going to keep it good. But it's the game of life. I love y'all. Till next time, be good. Live at Blackstone Smokehouse, showcasing the Eclipse Band and also featuring tomorrow's future talent star. Only on Sundial Networks. Tuesday and Thursday nights, 7 p.m. Saturday, 8 p.m. If you're in the live bands, open mic talent, we have a treat for you. Only on Sundial Networks. Every Tuesday and Thursday nights, 7 p.m. Saturday, 8 p.m. If you're in the Flint area, please come to see the live tape at Blackstone, downtown Flint. Every Thursday night, 7 to 10 p.m. A new TV channel, Sundial.tv. That's S U N D I A L dot TV. Urban culture, music, lifestyle, fashion, talk shows, comedy, and more. Check us out at Sundial.tv. TV lineup What happened to that one hit wonder? The battle. New versus old. Top 100 countdown. Old school mix up. Slow jam. Sundial so Put us in your browser. S U N T I A L dot TV. A new way to watch TV on the web. Check us out. High D dot TV. That's H I G H D dot TV. High Dimension Networks. The lineup. Top 100 of all time. Old school hip hop. What's new now? Top 10 from the street. That's my jam. New to the game. And legends in music. Yeah, that's right. It's about time. Something new in TV. A brand new game. New flavor in TV. High Dimension Network. H I G H D dot TV. When you're ready to go from local to global, Web TV can help you reach your prospective audience and hit the target with your product, service, or brand in a personalized ad campaign with business packages from every size of business. When you're ready to do some new and cool stuff, come and see us at Web TV. This could be your commercial being seen by thousands of viewers. You can email us at webtvmedia1 at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you.